Welcome. This is the end of course Algebra 1. Practice test 3, question number 59. The question says, which table best describes the function y equals negative 3x plus 7? Now, you should know by now that that means you're going to plug in x values here and see if they get their matching y values. The thing that's different about this one than in others is that uh, the x values actually shift by two every time. You're probably used to seeing it go up one at a time. Uh, so you could just do the sort of seven or four minus seven thing and then the two minus zero and get your slope and that whole thing. Or you can just plug them in and get your answer. So when I try to plug in zero into my equation, uh, at this would be negative three times zero which is zero plus seven more is seven. So when I get zero, I should have a seven that matches it. Now all of them have that set up. Now I don't put a 1 in here because the next x that they want to know about is 2. So when I plugged in a 2 I should get a 1 and I'll do one more. Now it's a 4 in every one of them so be careful. So when I plugged in a 3 or sorry when I plugged in a 4 I ended up getting a negative 5. I'm going to look for something that has these matches and the only one that does is B. Now if you look at <clears throat> how things are changing every time, so in this case it's going, up, or it's going down by 3 every time. So it's really easy to sort of dive on the idea that well this is negative 3 and this is going down by 3 every time but the problem is the change over here is 2 every time. It's actually going up by 2 instead of by 1. So that negative 3 relationship changes a lot so it's not that one. In this case it sort of goes a little bit haywire. I think they're just multiplying the numbers and they're not adding the 7. Like they pay attention to the 7 here, they start stop considering it later on. And this one, it's changing 6 and then 6 and then 6. So things are looking okay here because you're doing 6 divided by 3. Unfortunately, 6 divided by 3, so you get that uh, sort of look that you may expect. So 6 divided by 2, I'm sorry is 3. So you have the 3 thing. Unfortunately it says negative 3 so it should be going down. It's not going down, it's going up. So D is out of the picture as well. As you can see the numbers are ascending. In this case they're descending. So the answer to number 59 is B.